know it's been a while since I've been here, but let me just tell you all that um, working full time and with two kids, and I know that's not anything new, but it's new for me, and and it's exhausting. <laughs> It's exhausting, but I'm hanging in there, getting it done. Um, I have lots of videos coming up that will pretty much show what goes on um, daily here in my household um, with two small ones and both my husband and I working full-time jobs, working tiring, exhausting full-time jobs. Um, while still managing the kids and keeping them happy and keeping ourselves sane for the most part. <laughs> I, I hope I'm still sane. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm just Okay, but anyway, so this video I'm going to talk about um, cloth diapers and um, potty training um, because uh, there needs to be an update on how that's going. Cloth diapers, I love them. I would not trade them. For, I would say I would not trade them for disposable diapers in the world. But sometimes, sometimes disposable diapers are a lifesaver, okay? Um, so I stopped using disposable diapers because I got tired of paying for that. I did. Just to be honest, I got tired of paying for it. And um, especially with, you know, knowing that there's the option of using cloth diapers and it's like, you know what? I don't have to keep paying all this money when I can use cloth diapers and wash them and use them and save a whole lot of money. So yes, the cloth diapers have been saving us lots of money and I love cloth diapers and um, it's pretty much, you know, it's, it's, for me and to me it's cloth diapers are easy which disposable diapers are easy um cloth diapers like once you get your routine going yeah it's easy um getting them washed or whatnot it's not a problem um it's not the best smelling thing but hey dumping out the diaper pill with disposable diapers that's not the best smelling thing either um so sometimes, though, I have days where, you know, I get home from work and I'm just, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I may not have all the cloth diapers folded and prepared, so it, there's the option of, okay, do I want to go and grab and put a cloth diaper together and put this on, or I got this kid that has some pull-ups over here. Why don't I just grab pull-ups? So yeah, so then that ends up being the easy thing for me to do. And sometimes it's just that's what I reach for, the easy thing. Um, even though everything that I do around the house, I try to make it easy. Um, even in my classroom, I try to make things easy. And my students insist on still making it complicated. But anyway... Um, so I mentioned pull-ups. So we have pull-ups for AJ, and this is for nighttime use. Um, spring break um, will be coming up, and so that is when I'm really going to crack down on getting him fully, fully potty trained because at this moment he's still having lots of accidents um, overnight. And we're having to, you know, clean the sheets and, you know, change his clothes first thing he, you know, first thing in the morning when he wakes up. And so it just became easier to just put some pull-ups on until we can um, pretty much get him set and ready to go and fully trained even through the night. Um, 
So, yeah, so that's the deal with that. He even regressed a little bit. He started to have accidents um, through the day. And that caught uh, my husband and I, that caught both of us off guard. Like, whoa, what is going on? Um, So, yeah. So with our schedules or whatnot, like I said, I plan to work on potty training um, during spring break. So that way I can really just focus on that. And then he, AJ is really just focused on getting this potty training down because y'all AJ, that kid is really smart. I mean, we can drive down the highway, drive down the road and he can point out any car and tell you what it is. Oh, Toyota, Hyundai, Lexus. I mean, he can point out any car and tell you what it is. So it's like, you can you can you can potty when you're supposed to and you're going to yes you are going to little kid um so yeah so cloth diapers um still going very well um and the question of when we will actually start amari with um potty training that I'm not quite sure yet. We started, well, we introduced AJ to the potty um, when he was 16 months. Amari is 15 months. Um, but AJ is three now. And yeah. So I don't know if 16 months is too, it's just a bit too early. But then again, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be, home soon so I will really be able to to, you know really focus and really really work with them with potty training and a ton of other stuff you know so I may go ahead and you know introduce him to the potty he does Amari does show interest in the potty because well he shows interest in a lot of things because he he's my kid that's very destructive he likes, he sees things and he wants to go and explore and throw it and rip it apart and toss it around. Yeah. So that's kind of how he feels or, you know, how he is with the potty. We don't let him go near it though. So we actually, actually haven't seen how he interacts with the potty because we haven't let him get close enough to it to destroy it, um, to act, to see what it is that he would do with the potty. But um, he does show interest in it, so much so that we have to make sure that the bathroom door is closed so he can't get to it. Um, because if he's walk, if we got him, you know, walking around and whatnot, that's almost like the first place he wants to go in the bathroom and check out that potty. What is this? Big brother comes in here and uses this. Is this a cool little toy or something? But yeah. Okay. So cloth diapers. I love them still. I recommend cloth diapers. So if you are the type that you're tired of buying and paying for boxes and boxes of diapers over and over and over again and you really want to see your you know your grocery bill or whatever bill shopping bill to go down that is how you do it cloth diapers um and I have a video already uploaded um where I talk about my cloth diaper routine and I talk about which diapers that I use and they are absolutely wonderful. No problems, no issues whatsoever. Um, so yeah, so cloth diapers, yes. I just have to get through work and <laughs> gain the energy to keep up with, you know, keeping them folded and prepared so that way I don't have days where I'm like, oh, I don't feel like fixing, you know, preparing a diaper when, you know, because when I do have them folded and ready to go, it's easy. Just go grab a diaper, put it on. Um, so, yeah, so I love cloth diapers. I'm glad I went to it. They can be a little intimidating at first. Sometimes just the thought of cloth diapers is intimidating. And it's like, what? Well, cloth diapers? Who does that? But a lot of people do. And it's not hard. Um, 
sometimes we start things and it's like, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't do this. But sometimes we just have to stick with it and, you know, do what works. So if something doesn't work, then you try something, you know, try something else, you know, try, you know, something different that will help it work, you know? And then potty training, yes, AJ, for the most part, um, is potty trained, you know, he'll let us know, especially when we're out somewhere, he'll let us know when he has to go potty. Um, it's just, we're working on overnight now. So that's the, the thing, the overnight and, you know, uh, trying to put an end to all the accidents. So we will pretty much have that nipped very soon. And I will have an update on that, how that goes and what it is that I did to um, go ahead and nip those issues with potty training. All right. So that is all that I want to share on that. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.